So while designing the book, I've created these iFactor cards. <clears throat> it's a great way of engaging with the books. I'm not a magician. I'm not going to say, pick a card, it's going to come out of your ears. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the gentleman here to come to the front. I mean, come to the front, sir. And let me show you how engaged you are. So I'm going to come to the front. So I'm going to say, pick a card, sir. Pick any card. Okay. So this is how we use the card and the book. So this is the, this is I factor number 39. And what it says here, it says, do I have high hopes for the future? <coughs> so that's the I factor he's picked out. So what you would then do, take a seat, so, so your name is, what's it? JC. 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 Okay. So JC's picked out I factor number 39. So now we're going to go to the front of the book and we're going to find where I factor number 39 is. Okay. I factor number 39 is is on page 155. Now this is how all the I factors start. It starts with a question. Because thinking is the process of asking and asking questions. Let me repeat that. Thinking is the process of asking and answering questions. You know, and one of my quotes is what? The question is the answer. What does that mean? What is the question is the answer? The question is the answer. It means the quality of your question determines the quality of the answer. Simple. Who uses Google here? Yeah? Who's ever tried to find something on Google, you can't find it, and you just change the syntax of the sentence slightly, and it comes up? Yeah. Because you've just changed the quality of the question. Your mind is exactly the same. <clears throat> Ask yourself better questions, and you will find it. So it started. So the first question is, do I have high hopes? for your future. So it always starts with a question. And then it moves on <coughs> to a famous quote. Fortunate enough, this is my quote here. <laughs> yes. Hopefully it'll be famous. And the quote is, hope is the vein through which our future dreams and aspirations flow through. So that quote, because then they call me the hope dealer, that's what I've created a quote around hope. But it's true. The bigger the more hope you have, the larger your veins, so the bigger dreams you have. You know, without hope, people die. Yes. Without hope, some of the young people in America, they've done studies about the gangs, and a lot of these young people don't feel they're going to live past 21. Now, if you don't feel you're going to live past 21, how are you going to live your life? For today, for now. But when you have hope for the future, as my friend says, you act in a way so you can get there. So always have hope. In fact, let me tell you something. Run out of money. It'll tell you in here again. But run out of money, run out of friends, run out of resources, but never ever run out of hope. Mm -hmm. So this is the passage, and I'll just read this one. It says, life at times can seem like a constant struggle. Everything you try to do somehow just does not go to plan. You have big dreams, however, the realities of life have come along like a pair of boxing gloves and beaten you up, forcing you in your mind to give up. I hear people say, it's been really hard for me. I've tried and tried. My finances are so low and I have no one to turn to for help. There are many things in life that you can run out of. You can run out of money. You can run out of friends. You can even run out of resources. However, you must never run out of hope. If you lose hope, somehow you lose the vitality that keeps life moving. You lose that courage to be, that quality that helps you to go on in spite of it all. Many of the great achievements of the world were accomplished by tired and discouraged men and women who kept on working with hope in their heart and mind. Hope is the vein through which our future dreams and aspirations flow. In troubled times, hope gives you a PhD in getting back up, while a lack of hope gives you a master's degree in not succeeding. A life void of hope and care, a life absent of care, a life with no meaning, a life without no, has no purpose, a life not fueled by purpose has no direction, and a life with no direction just drifts along endlessly. Only pausing when faced with the inevitable question we all have to ask ourselves one day is, what have I done with my life? When we were children we hoped too much. As we grow into adults, we do not hope enough. Martin Luther King said, Everything that is done in the world is done by hope. As oxygen is to the lungs, so is hope to the meaning of life. 
Breathe new life into your past or present aspirations, whatever they may be. With a massive injection of hope, remember, he who does not hope to win has already lost. That's the passage. Now, this is the way the eye to work. You've asked yourself a question. Do I have enough hope? You've read the passage, which gives you some reflection to consider. Thinking, you know, you know, thinking about this, I may not have enough hope. What happens then? Normally we run for a notepad. This book has been designed in such a way you don't need a notepad. Because after each passage, if you have the question, you then have a space to write your thoughts. Because you know, everything's racing now. You've got all these thoughts. So what do you have here? You have a book, and then you have a journal. Your own personal journal, where you're writing your thoughts. So you think, great, you know, I've read the passage. Yeah, you know what? These are I could have more hope. And, but what do you do now? As we know, nothing happens without action. <coughs> nothing. We can think as much as we want, but nothing happens without action. So what's happened in the I factor? <coughs> we'll create a section where you have a space to write what we call an action step. One step. And all you do is you write an action you're going to take around the area. So you've just been spoken about hope. You write an action around hope. And you know something? The most people act, but they don't know why. But the why gives you clarity. So not only do you write the action, you write the reason why you're going to take the action. And then a, without a date, you don't have a goal. So what do you have here? We have a book, a journal, and an action planner, all in one. Something that can move you, your own personal journal. And the only person you focus on here is you.